Hey everybody, this is Brendan here with Common Motor. That's common-motor.com on the internet. And today we're gonna to install a combo regulator and rectifier on this vintage Honda CB350. So stay tuned. In my hand here, I have our combo voltage regulator and rectifier unit. The charging systems on the bikes actually use two separate units. They use a voltage regulator to keep the voltage at a certain level going to the battery, and they use a rectifier to turn the AC signal from the stator coil into DC to charge the battery. This unit actually combines both of them in a single unit. Now, the charging system in all these little Honda twins is pretty weak, and the voltage regulator and the rectifier are probably the most failure-prone parts electrically in all of these bikes. So swapping out to a new modern unit really helps the charging system work at its best and keep your battery charged. Now, this charging system is in all the Honda small twins with a 12 volt system. We're talking about your 175s, 200s, 350s, 360s, 450s, and 500Ts. If you have a 550 or 750, a four cylinder, they have a completely different charging system and this is not gonna apply to them whatsoever. I'm gonna show you all real quick where we're actually gonna be working on this particular bike. I'll pop the side cover off here and see it. We have a lot of the, the bolts and things kind of taken off already. Air cleaners just kind of sitting in here. Take that off. Carbs are off the bike already, but you don't have to take the carbs off to do this job. And we're going to be focusing around the battery box area and removing the battery box on the bike. So we're going to flip the bike around. We'll pop the seat off and change the view of the camera so you guys can see everything coming out when we do the swap. So the first thing I'm gonna point out to you is this right here. This is the voltage regulator. On this 350, it happens to be mounted to the bottom of the battery box. That's a very common spot for it on many of the bikes. Sometimes it's mounted on top of the toolbox. Sometimes it's on the back of the battery box. It just depends on your bike model, but it's always gonna be in this region of your bike. Now it only has three wires on it, a yellow wire, this black wire, and a green wire. It's kind of plugged into this connectors right here. Just pull them out. One, two, three. There they are. Something else to mention on the voltage regulator here. If you have an earlier bike, let's say like a Black Bomber or like a 68, 69, 350, they don't necessarily have a voltage regulator on it. They will always have a rectifier, but the early bikes didn't have voltage regulators on it. So you may not have one on your bike and you can't find it. Up top here, I have the rectifier. And this is the older style rectifier, which is kind of this orange or red you know, finned cube here. This is also a rectifier. This showed up on the little bit later bikes starting kind of in the mid 70s. So you could have either one of these on your bike. So when plugged to rectifier, they always have this kind of plastic connector on them. Squeeze it. There we go. We're gonna remove the whole battery box assembly. On this 350, we happen to have a mount screw here. There's one on the other side, one here, and one on the other side. I've already taken out the other sides right there. I'm just gonna pull these out real quick. So every model bike, the battery box mounts a little differently, but uh, it should be easy enough to, to figure out. In case you're wondering, that's a ground wire. So make sure to hook it back up, put it back in. And then this whole thing is gonna, gonna lift on out of here. That. We're gonna take this over to the bench and uh, swap the pieces out and get the rectifier installed. We had a lot of questions asking us the best place to mount the, the new unit. And technically you can mount it anywhere as long as you have a good solid connection to something metal in the frame. However, a great place to mount it is where your old voltage regulator was bolted to. In this case, it's gonna be the bottom of the battery box here because we have this little mount ready to go. Unfortunately, the, uh, the new rectifier's holes are just a little bit off from them, from where these holes are. You could mount it with one hole, but I'd rather mount it with two. So we have to uh, embiggen these holes right here. Yes, Caleb, it is a perfectly cromulent word, embiggen. 
So we're gonna in big in the holes with a round file here. And we're just gonna file them out and make them bigger. Now the holes here have been in biggened as needed. I'm replacing the, the old hex bolts with uh, some Allen bolts that are stainless steel. All right, nice and secure. It's ready to go uh, drop us back on the bike. Battery box is installed in the frame, or to fire sear. And I'm gonna talk about the, the plugs that are coming out of the knee unit and how they relate back to the wiring harness. Uh, the, the, square, the square plastic white plug is in the plug right back into the harness over here. Uh, in case this is chewed up on your harness, it does include a new, a new uh, connector and some uh, terminals there, should you need it. In this case, I'm gonna make sure I line up the, the colors of the wire. Green, red, and then the back is a yellow and a pink. Green, red, right there, pink and yellow. They get all together just like this. If it's fitting a little loose, like that one fits nice and snug, uh, you might want to take a zip tie and kind of come around. Like that and zip tie it, zip tie it shut in that manner in case they're loose or just go ahead and change out the terminal. That one feels pretty good. I don't think it's gonna go anywhere. So now we're left with this single black wire. And this wire is basically the feedback wire for the voltage regulator. It can go a number of places. The easiest place for it to go was the black, where the black wire from the old voltage regulator tapped in right here. And in this case, that's where I'm gonna put it. It can also go directly to the positive side of the battery, 12 volts, in case you don't have a tap-in here. Uh, and note, all these solid black wires on the Honda wiring harness like this, they're all 12 volt positive that's controlled by the key switch. So it doesn't really matter which one of these you tap it into, as long as it's a solid black wire in the harness, they're, they're all the same, they should be 12 volt positive. So the reach here is a little weird right now. I might take this out of here sleeve and move it around. So the question we get a lot is what do we do with the two leftover wires out of the voltage regulator? The green wire right here is a redundant ground wire. It's the same thing as the frame. You can just leave it alone. You don't have to do anything with it. The yellow wire here is gonna be an AC output wire from the stator coil, but not, we're not gonna use it anymore. We're gonna go ahead and just tape it off and tuck it back into the wiring harness and we're not gonna use it again because it's, it's no longer needed. And that's it. There you have it, a complete install of the combo regulator rectifier on this Honda CB350. Again, the install is gonna be very similar for the other Honda Twins, and of course this applies to the 175 and 200s, the 350s, 360s, 450s, and the 500Ts. All the 12 volt twin cylinder motorcycles that Honda made in the 70s. This is Brendan with Common Motor. It's common-motor.com on the internet. Make sure you follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Subscribe to our newsletter via our website, and of course, Subscribe to us right here on this YouTube channel, and we will see you next time. Yeah, that looks, that looks nice and clean. It's a bit of you. Well, thank you.